Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're playing Legendary Iron Man difficulty of uh, the Long War. I forgot to do the intro before the mission, so let's do it right now as we were starting it. This mission is going to be quite difficult, I might say. We um, have only fielded our sniper Divat, we have fielded Nasty our um, Grandier and two rookies against what appears to be a pretty substantial force of enemies. So what we will need to do is we need to play clever in order to get the stator um, transmission stopped. It's probably one of the more difficult missions and I'm not even sure if we can um, can do it. So we got to be very careful here. Let's start in carefully explore what's happening. That's one drone. I generally like drones. They are easy to kill and they take up a slot, so that's not too bad. Let us play. Oh yeah, one thing that I should mention here. Um, this is the typical kind of S shape of um, of a canal and that S shape um, yeah essentially um, has advantages and disadvantages one disadvantage being if you're pos uh, positioning yourself here you have a huge dead angle um, from everything kind of sidewards of this crate so <clears throat> what I would want to do is I would want to play through the left hand side here so that enemies are essentially forced to move into us. How well this is going to work will uh, remains to be seen. But with our limited time available, I'm really not sure what else to do. Drone comes into our direction and essentially forces us to now lose concealment. There's nothing we can do, so might as well kill it. Big deal. Okay, so far so good. Is confirmed. Moving out. Moving out. Okay. All right, had a short telephone call. Let's dive back into it. We wanted to infiltrate this side. Hmm. That's a dangerous move, but I think we could pull it off. It's very unlikely that there's going to be another pack over here. All right, worked like a charm. And time for Overwatch. Headed there now. Advancing just a little bit. Moving to position. I'm surprised that we aren't finding any enemies here. Good copy. Moving on target. Something is off. What if we were to to use uh, this here, a kill zone? Yeah, not a bad idea. Let's just go with it for now. Uh, there might be a pack or two that's running into it. Usually when it's too quiet... Oh, look at that. I was about to say, usually when it's too quiet, there is a good chance that something 
odd is happening. Devat, uh, it needs to be a hit, buddy. Are you kidding me? Are we hitting anything? That was a pretty bad overwatch. One of the worst that I've seen in a while. That here could be good. Let's try to kill the captain. Holy shit, 31 points of damage, that's good. I love it. Well done. Divad steadies his weapon. Removing their armor. One of the sun answers burning, so the left hand one essentially does nothing next turn. Which means we can fully focus on the right hand stun lancer. Moving okay. into full cover. Fifty-fifty. Well, not too bad. Another full cover spot. It's unfortunately only thirty-six percent chance. Hmm, we could overwatch and risk it. Or we're 50-50-ing. You know, let's try to kill him conventionally. And we can still take the overwatch. That didn't work out. But the overwatch might be... It, his demise. Uh, unfortunately, it's triggered. That is really unfortunate. Did I mention that I absolutely hate stun lances? Moving up. Eyes on the target. Perfect. We got the target inside. Holy shit, we can reach it from here. That's perfect. Fourteen points of damage. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Moving to position. And another shot. Should plan for an evacuation. What? It somehow exploded. <laughs> what? What is happening? It somehow exploded. Okay. If any one of you has a good explanation why that just happened, 
I'd be very, very keen to hear it. Because for me, it doesn't really make any sense. Rapid deployment. Let's make sure both of uh, them are being flashbanged. Afterwards, oh, let's make sure both of them are being stripped of their armor. Unfortunately, the cover is still not removed. Free reload. And I don't want to stand in half cover, so... Moving into full cover and letting them come into our direction. Moving over here, which means both of them need to move into our line of sight. And we're overwatching. I think we just lost a rookie. Not sure if we can successfully help that rookie. What we certainly can do is yeah, three turns and the evac will happen in four turns. Well, that's bad. That is very bad. Reloading. We still can take a shot. There's nothing wrong with that. He will not shoot back next turn. Enemy is still up. Should have probably started the evac a little bit earlier. Alright, reinforcements are coming in. That's the worst timing. That's affirmative. Moving into full cover. Let's try to get the advent drone. Very good. Come on, one more hit. Grazing shot is not enough. And we missed. Well, that's unfortunate. That's a nice little hit. I like it. Take it heavy fire. 
Yeah, the range to the sniper is too low. Okay, could have been worse. It could have been worse. We are concealing ourselves. One down. Thousands to go. And we saw that the reinforcements were landing right there. Time for us to take a full cover over here. And an overwatch. Not a good timing to miss a shot. The design mechanic that they can take a full round is completely and utterly ridiculous. Let's kill the heavy mech. Hmm. Could try to do that. Unfortunately, we're most likely going to be hit with rockets. Next turn is the evacuation. So instead, I'm moving a little bit back, overwatching and overwatching, which means if both shots hit, this guy is going to die. That's the first hit. Now we need another one. That's okay. These were the reinforcements. Mind you, all, also those guys can act immediately. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Okay, the rookie kind of leads on, on saving our equipment. Let's go. Carrying the fallen off of the battlefield. Such a close mission. I'm going. All surviving XCOM operatives are secure. Whoa! Such a close mission. <laughs> Rating acceptable. Dude, it was a pretty hard mission. Wow. Alright, here we are. Well, that was a tough mission. Luckily, we got out of uh, there, although a little bit scathed, uh, to be precise. We knew that there might have been a pro uh, that there might be a problem with um, uh, with losing one of the rookies, and indeed, didn't turn out to be so successful for him. But Nasty finally made it to Master Sergeant. I like Ghost Grenade, but I think. Full kit is probably better. Although, on the other hand, your explosives uh, deal significantly greater damage to covers and object and other things on the battlefield is pretty much exactly what we wanted to begin with. Um, so I'm going to try this one and if that works well, great. If it doesn't, rest assured we're rescaling and going for full kit.
Locked on isn't too bad because of his chain shot. I like tactical sense, that's really good. Infighter isn't bad either against stun lancers and whenever he's being attacked. Yeah, I think we're going for Executioner because it is just like locked on. Um, essentially, once his chain shot has hit the first time, it will provide a plus 10 uh, bonus to both. Um, so it's essentially the same as locked on, but it can also be used whenever enemies are low. So that'll work. Our rookie. Uh, nice, became an assault. We could definitely use another assault. And we prevented the data leak. Wow. That was a close call overall, guys. One of the harder missions for sure. But I knew that that's going to be hard when we were fielding the mission. Tactical upgrades. Um, sentries gain the combat awareness ability, granting them bonus defense and armor when on overwatch. Well, it's lovely. Just what we were looking for. And there's another um, supply raid. Hmm. Operation Lazy Spear. Let's take a look if we can, uh, if we could meaningfully field that mission. It's probably not going to be the case, but we can still try anyways. Alright, I found a team that I feel comfortable with. So, we had the option to really crank it up <coughs> and field eight soldiers and then sort of fight against the high um, baseline again to uh, to gather a lot of corpses. Unfortunately, I think we don't have the firepower at the moment with the increase in difficulty we just we need new weapons so i reduced it to a hundred percent mission 13 to 15 enemies and we got uh, mitch and ragtime um, kind of leading it uh, kind of from a carry perspective they need to carry the uh, mission we got wildcat uh, who's the actual leader in terms of uh, her rank and then we got overdrive and aftermath um, uh, essentially helping support and ranged uh, damage dealer. So I think we're going to be fine with that squad. 15 enemies should be doable and we're probably not ending up in the same mess as in the other supply raids where we're um, directly triggering like multiple packs from the get-go. So that is going to be helpful. Let's continue building our relay. Lots of people recovered from their wounds, and I think we got a 100% uh, situation here where we can finally get another sharpshooter. That's going to be our next mission, guys. So, today is a pretty short video. Nevertheless, it was a good mission. I mean, we had a, hard, a pretty hard mission, and uh, the next one will be a bit easier. Um, we are still so close to research the plasma rifles. Boy, boy, I'm looking forward for that. This will prove to be an oh my god, it just happened at the end of at the end of the video. Got our first prototypes added to our inventory. Hell yeah, I love it. Plasma pistols, power shadow keeper, auto pistol. Oh yeah, baby. Uh, we got beam cannon, storm gun, and plasma gun. Oh, 12 days each, but they are so helpful. So I think we're going to go with the sniper first, then the shotgun, and lastly the beam gun. I also like to go for battle armor next, but let's start with the plasma lance. First. 
S for engineering. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. Yeah, we could start building them and they they are surprisingly cheap. So with the income of the next month and our supply rates, we might be able to really fabric a couple of them. I was honestly expecting that it would be worse than that. It's only twice of the cost of the mag rifle. So yeah, we're we're going to use those items quite liberally going forward. Let's just double check their um, their damage. One of the things that's different between uh, normal XCOM and Long War is you got to realize that the damage is quite different between the weapons. Uh, in normal XCOM, they always add plus one plus one for each of the weapon tiers, and there are essentially three weapon tiers, which makes it so that kind of the plasma rifle is about 150% of the damage of the normal rifle. Mind you, with a normal gun, old weapon gun, 3 to 5 damage, um, versus the plasma rifle, 8 to 12 points of damage, and the bonus damage when you crit is even higher, plus 5, so we're looking at up to 17 points of damage. If you compare it to a normal rifle, 5 to 9, 8 to 12, like the normal mech rifles that we're currently having. Um, so that's three points of damage in minimum and three points to the maximum, plus uh, the bonus critical damage is uh, improved by two. So we're looking at what? A double uh, doubling on average of the, the expected damage that you, could, uh, that, uh, that you could expect to take from it. And that's really precisely the reason why kind of a laser rifle with four to seven points of damage as opposed to eight to 12 points of damage with uh, a massive acceleration uh, with five points of bonus uh, damage for crits, uh, why that is so important to essentially stay ahead of the research curve. If we're now getting um, plasma rifles and also plasma lances and plasma shotguns, the enemies will substantially uh, downgrade in their difficulty because look at that. I mean, if someone has 20 hit points, for instance, okay, and you're just rapid shotting, uh, just take a normal infantry here, and you're rapid shotting him with a laser rifle, uh, mm, that's like what? Uh, if he has armor, maybe six points of damage, maybe seven, eight points of damage. With a plasma ri rifle, but mind you, has rupture one, so it uh, shreds one. Um, point that's an important uh, topic as well rupture um, it uh, essentially um, ruptures one point of armor shreds one point of armor every time it hits so uh, same situation 20 uh, points of uh, 20 hit points enemy one armor uh, the plasma rifle essentially just shreds the armor right away plus uh, mm, it's expected that the person would probably die uh, given two hits, and that does not even include uh, the critical uh, critical damage that you could take. So right there, you can see the difference between essentially dealing six points of damage and having a, a very much functional uh, enemy as opposed to yeah killing an enemy in, in, in one shot or in, in one turn uh, with the same uh, soldier. Um, so plasma rifle is massive, massive upgrade, and I hope we can uh, manufacture a lot of them. I will sink many of our funds, if not, if not all, into weapon upgrades for now, uh, so that everyone has at least coil weapons. Uh, that's going to be a lot. I mean, just look at the amount of um, soldiers that we have. It's probably not realistic that everyone will uh, carry prime weapons but i mean given that we do have a thousand two hundred uh, income a space plus a lot of um, additional income from the supply rates as well as all of the corpses that we can sell we're probably looking at what realistically two thousand five hundred maybe three thousand um, uh, income per month and uh, the things cost around 60 per weapon so yeah we could equip up to 50 of our soldiers if we were to 
only focus on that. If you think about it this way, it'll take a month or two and uh, and everyone will be equipped. So that's really the next highest priority before we get some nice additional toys uh, like uh, battle suits, heavier weapon, uh, weaponry, new ammunition and so on. If your weapon is shit, then no, no matter what kind of ammunition you are using, it still will be a difficult or an upwards uh, battle. Uh, so you got to really think about that. And I leave you with those thoughts um, for the end of this mission. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your viewership. And if you want, leave a comment or a like down below. See you in the next mission. Goodbye.